and welcome. This is going to be your reading for September 1st through September 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. We are in kind of the final quarter of this year. Holy moly. It's moving fast, but also very slow. So it really has been the year of change. And I'm just sending you all my love and hope that the challenges you've been going through are helping you to grow and expand and kind of break out of your comfort zone. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Um, this is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. So the link below um, to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can definitely read about um, the benefits, read the testimonials, and you'll see I have a great 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful um, for you in some way. Uh, you'll also see the link. I do very limited few number of personal readings. If it says sold out, you'll just have to check back. I've been uh, really not pulled to doing a lot of those lately. So I have to just trust that. I really do the readings when I feel called to. So um, thank you for your patience and understanding with that. And I think that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for September 1st through September 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled, so we'll just jump straight into your reading here. Okay, Virgo, I love it. Starting out with the Nine of Cups here. This is a place of happiness from within, being alone in your splendor, um, emotional fulfillment. This is also a card of like emotional maturity. So I do feel there's maybe parts of you that has been growing and expanding. And I just feel the energy here. You're in a good place. You feel like you're in a good place, kind of excited for what's next. And I've also got the, the Ace of Wands. So new projects, new beginnings, new inspiration, new passion, something new coming in for you. This could also be new romance. Um, but it, whatever new is coming in for you, I just feel that it's exciting. Uh, you feel passionate about it and you feel ready for it. I've also got you here as the king of pentacles. So you're really like in your power right now, Virgo. And I feel, you know, with this new project or this new romance or whatever this ace of wands is for you, it may not have all of your focus. As you can see, the back is a little bit turned here because I feel like you're being very smart with decisions and what you're getting yourself involved with right now. So yes, this Ace of Wands may be very tempting and very enrolling, and I think you are excited for it, but you may take your time, okay? You may take your time. Let me see what else we've got here, though. Yes, okay, so you may take your time, Virgo, because you're at a place where you're not settling for anything less than absolute stability and something that can lead you to long-term stability. Ten of Pentacles is really a very stable card. Financial stability, commitment and relationship stability. It can be stability within the family and the money within the family. So this is a big focus for you. I feel decisions that you're making and new projects or even new partners that you're considering, you're really looking at the long-term possibility within the family, within the stability, etc. cetera. Um, with the five of wands here though, I just wanna say be careful a little bit with your thoughts and your thinking, okay? The five of wands to me can be a little bit chaotic thinking. A little bit of like, unnecessary thinking about specific things, you know, kind of wasted energy, wasted mental energy here. I also just heard um, 
no, not to be, sorry, the words are twisted here, not to be too critical or too judgmental about this new thing coming in for you. Like, look, there's only one ace or one wand here, the ace of wands. It's focused, it's clear what it is. So with your thinking, you may complicate it way more than it needs to be. So I think that could be a good message for you, Virgo, is to just see it for what it is. See what the opportunity is here. And then I've also got the temperance card, which is beautiful. This is a card of harmony, balance, patience, the blending of two extremes, really getting to that happy medium. So I think the, the resistance and the little hectic thinking here is not going to be very um, long-lived. I think you'll catch yourself because that is really... The Five of Wands is surrounded by two cards of a lot of stability and balance here with the Temperance and the Ten of Pentacles. I also just thought that you may choose to be single instead of in a relationship. That may be some of the, the Five of Wands energy. Yeah, because there's going to be a decision here with the Two of Wands and the Knight of um, Swords here. You almost, you might have some pressure from somebody to make a decision here with this Knight of Swords energy. So whoever you're dealing with, this could be you know, a new partner, an old partner, but I feel like they're going to be pressuring you to make a decision. Do you want this? Do you not want this? Like, I don't want to stay in this, you know, indecision or this waiting game. So you may have a little bit of um, pressure to make a decision. Do you want to stay? Do you want to go? Do you want to pursue this Ace of Wands or do you not? And I think the Temperance card is really going to help you balance out that decision here. But with the last card out here, Virgo, we've got the Star card, which is all about healing. So rest, rejuvenation. Again, I feel this is a message to you wanting to just take some time for you to be alone, to be independent, to be free from uh, a commitment to another person, etc. Um, this is also the card of Aquarius. I feel strong fire energy out here. Yes. Um, also earth energy, but I think that's you. Uh, and then the Aquarius card here. So the star card with being on your own right now and finding strength within being on your own, it's like that can really meet to or um, direct you towards your true north, your highest and best path. When you really pull back your energy and you stop filling your time with things that are empty and meaningless or, you know, spending time with people just for the sake of not being alone, when you really take that time to be with yourself, that is where you find the true north, your truest and highest path. So this Ace of Wands, now that I'm looking at this, that, that may be a little bit of a temptation for you of getting away from yourself and doing that inner healing and being alone for that. But I just, I do, I see you kind of happy and on your own here, really thinking about long-term stability and what it is that you want. And both of these cards are very much about harmony, healing, patience. So I feel like you're going through a really positive transition right now, Virgo. Very stable. You're getting to a really stable place. Emotionally stable. I do want to say emotionally stable is the focus here. Yes. Last message, emerging. You are, you're coming out of, um, you're coming out of an old way of being into a new way of being. And stepping into really, I feel, your place of power. Like you've taken your power back. I think that's why this King of Pentacles has the back a little bit turned to this Ace of Wands coming in because you, you're really, you're not getting distracted right now, which is a really good thing because when you can get distracted easily, it really can keep you off course. 
Okay, let me get a spirit animal message for you, Virgo. All right, your spirit animal message is sea turtle protection. You are master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. That is exactly what I'm talking about here. Being in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. So that rhythm has to be within you. If you're trying to find your rhythm with others and this person and trying that and dating here and that's not your true rhythm and that will not get you on your true path. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. What a beautiful message for you, Virgo. So you are, you're protected in this transition. And I really think the, the strongest message that I'm feeling here is that you're focusing on you. You're letting go of outer distractions. You're becoming the master of your own flow. I love it, Virgo. So I hope that resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus or your Jupiter, or any placement, really. Uh, thank you for the comments below the video. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. So the link below to my website has all the information on the distance energy healing and therapy for you. You can read about the benefits. Definitely check out the testimonials page and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I think that's it, Virgo. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to September. Happy birthday to those of you who are celebrating. And I will see you back here for the second half of September readings. Take care.